typically tackle sexism, which I realize now is an overall positive because there are girl animorphs and there are guy animorphs and they all kick butt the same. And no one is surprised when the girls are just as good as the guys at killing evil yurks. However, this book is from Axe's perspective. And in this book, other Andalites, the good aliens, come to Earth to help fight the Yerks, and one of their warriors is a girl named Estrid, and Axe has a crush on Estrid, but then he's always so surprised when she's good at fighting, like, she's a girl and good at fighting? And it just felt like it was normalizing the idea that girls can't be good at fighting. I mean, I get that this was trying to emphasize, like, this is who Axe is, and this is the culture he's coming from, and he's coming from a culture that's even more sexist than human culture. But still, it was an overall negative message. It was an overall saying, hey, there's only some exceptions. Girls are usually really bad at fighting. And I thought it was even worse that this girl who was good at fighting turned out to be not only evil, but kind of tricked into being evil. So she was not only morally suspect, she was also intellectually suspect because she let herself get tricked this way. Yeah, that kind of bothered me about this book. But something that I did think was interesting, but not in a good way, was Axe's and Estrid's relationship, because they have crushes on each other. But also, they don't trust each other. Neither of them tells the other one what's going on or how they really feel or anything. I think the scene that best epitomizes this flat relationship of theirs is near the end, where Estrid is leaving to go off to space again and Axe gives her a cinnamon bun, one of the Earth delicacies. Is this as delicious as the jelly beans? Estrid asked, holding the warm paper box. Even more, I said. And this is why you care for these humans? I thought of the human hosts who had made a shield of their bodies to protect my friends. Thought of the many, many uncountable times Prince Jake or Rachel or Cassie or Marco or Tobias had risked death to help me. Yes, I said. This is why I like humans. It is all about the cinnamon buns. So here, Estrid is showing that she does not understand at all that there could be something better to humans than their cooking, that there could be something worth admiring in human beings, in their culture, in the way that they stand up for the right and they can be heroes. Because Estrid is just like a snobby Andalite who is too proud in her own race to realize that other races are good too. And then we also see here with Axe that he doesn't even try to explain this to Estrid, even though he understands it. He loves humans for more than cinnamon buns. But Axe knows that Estrid won't be able to understand that, and he doesn't even try. So it shows how little Axe cares about this relationship. He's just like, yep, it's the cinnamon buns. He doesn't want to put forth the emotional energy it would take to try to reason with her and explain that no, he loves humans because he loves humans, not because they make tasty treats. But I love this joke because it really puts Axe on the reader's side and Estrid on the outside, because Axe is playing a joke on her. And that means we're kind of playing a joke on her too, which is nice because I didn't really like her by the end anyway. In this book, one of the big plot points is that the Animorphs learn that the intergalactic reinforcements will not be coming for a long time. And Understandably, they are devastated. And then one of the other plot points is that they pretend for all of them to rage quit from being superheroes anymore. And this is to trick the Andalites, blah, 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 blah. But the point is, this plot point really just falls flat because Axe, the narrator, knows that it's all fake, that they're not really breaking up and rage quitting from the team. However, the reader doesn't find this out until the very end. So Axe's reaction to his entire team and all of his friends falling apart is just like, oh. And it made the entire book feel so emotionally flat because Axe wasn't reacting to the biggest emotional beats of this book. And I understand it would have been logically not good for Axe to react like he believed it was real because he knew it wasn't. But still, we needed something in this book. Axe felt so stilted. Like, he didn't even care that his life was completely upending. And there's so many ways that they could have sprinkled some more emotional reaction from Axe into the story. Even if he knows that the Animorphs aren't really breaking up and this is just an act, what are Axe's thoughts on the reinforcements aren't going to be coming 
for a long time? Is he disappointed in his own race for taking so long to come help out the desperate situation at Earth? Is he worried for his friends that they might lose the war? Is he still brimming with hope? Give me something! And another way to fix this and put in some more emotion into this book would be if the Animorphs just hadn't told Axe the master plan that they were just pretending to break up the band. And yes, that would have been a very mean thing to do to Axe because it would have put him through some emotional trauma, but at least there would have been some emotional trauma. I mean, I wanted something because this book was really interesting on like a world building scale. We really got to see more of Andalite culture and more of the way that this intergalactic war is working on a macro scale. But I think the best part of the books are the micro scale, are the little emotional beats, and this book didn't have many of them. This book is important to the series as a whole, to Axe's journey on the whole, but Axe didn't really have a journey in this book. I liked the book overall, I enjoyed reading it, but I wish it was better because it's so close to being better. When you like a thing, every unique part of it is just a thing that makes it better. But when you already don't like a thing, every unique part of it is just a thing that makes it worse. And when I'm thinking about this book, I just keep remembering things that I feel like makes it worse. But if my opinion was tilted a little bit more to the positive side, these things might be the things that I would be praising in this book. Okay, last point. There are two new characters whose names start with A and are five letters long. And I could not tell them apart for pretty much the entire book. 